Yeah, good evening, everyone. We'll start within five minutes. We'll start the session within five minutes. Yeah, this is like you can ask any queries if you have doubts regarding week nine practice assignment questions. Yeah, you can ask like whoever has doubts, please ask directly. Don't try, type in the chat. Please ask the like week nine practice assignment questions. Okay, I will. No one has any doubts regarding the week nine. But, uh, week nine graded assignment. Can you really guide us some? Method, yes, method. Yes, method. It was supposed to be solved with instructor. Right? Yeah, this is solve with instructor. Solve with instructor for practice assignment only. Oh, no, this is not. Uh, I'm asking in the graded assignment uh, approach basis. I'm just looking forward for. You don't need to give the answer. Is it possible? Are it, it's strictly like. Strictly not recommended to discuss anything regarding graded assignments before the deadline in this discussion, live sessions. So, like, it's strictly not permitted for doing. Okay. But practice assignment, you can help us, no? Yeah, practice assignment, I can definitely help you. Okay. Yeah, practice assignment uh, question two. Practice assignments question, question two. two. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me, like, where you have the doubt? Like, have you read the question and have you understood what? The regarding yeah, this question so palindrome that a set of words even if it, you reverse it it will be giving the same same yes meaning yes okay. uh, 
basically option 2 and 3 is running very close and i am not able to really differentiate Okay. Uh, can you uh, tell what is happening in this procedure word to list procedure? procedure. Yeah. yeah. Talking about yes. the options, no, no. I'm talking about the question. Word, word to, to list. list. Okay, word to list procedure. What is happening in the word to list procedure? Can you tell? Yeah, there is an characters with an empty dictionary empty empty library empty library i really got confused nowadays with so many brackets here whether it is digital. library what is library we haven't introduced library at all dictionary we have introduced no yeah dictionary we have introduced what is this characters is an characters is an empty dictionary it's empty dictionary. Then what? Empty list. Yeah. Well, it's I... an empty. Yeah. It's an empty list. List we represent list using square brackets and dictionary we represent using curly so, braces. Yeah, curly flower brackets. Yeah, because I was finally preparing for the Python, I get really messed up now because that's where we really read about the. The dictionary also say, yeah. Sorry for that. So while I is less than or equal to the x letter count, characters is equal to characters. I is letter of x, so then I is. But the I we initialize it to one. Yeah. And uh, eight. My x dot letter count work character, eighth character is matching to that, then it incre increments by one letter or incre increments the i by one. See, what is x here? x is a card, x is a row is a from card. a X yeah, X is, a, X, is a, X is a card or X is a row from our words row. table. We are passing that card to our procedure word to list. Initially, our variable i equal to zero and so characters is, is an... X is a word, is it? X is a word. S, yeah. X is a word from our words table. Yeah. yeah, characters is an empty list here. And we are iterating over... We are iterating like I... We are I. I starting from i equal to one, and we are iterating till the letter count of that particular word. So, initial if let's say if our word is uh, something uh, like if our word is word or if our word is list, then it has how many characters? One, two, three, four characters it has. So, this while loop iterates four times. Initially, i will be one, and as we are incrementing in this loop, it will become two later and it will become three and then it will become four. Four is our letter count. So till i equal to four, this loop iterates or till i less than or equal to this x dot letter count, that is word dot letter count, we are iterating over this while loop. And characters equal to characters plus ith letter of x dot word. So initially our i equal to one and we are checking this characters is an empty list and we are checking whether one less than or equal to four if a, if say if let us say like our word is list letter count is four so we are we are checking whether one is less than or equal to four it's true so it will enter into this loop in this loop what happens characters equal to characters plus I, plus plus ith letter of x dot word yeah. what is ith letter ith letter is first letter of x dot word first letter is l so characters equal to characters list plus we are adding one element to the list so it will become l so the first after this in this iteration it will become l now our i will be incremented now i will be two now it will check again while two less than four yes two less than four so character equal to characters plus i letter of x dot word i is here two second letter is i yeah second letter is, so i will be added to our characters list similarly the other letters also will be added to our character list generally what we are doing what is happening here is 
the like whatever word we of that card contains we are making it as list of characters like let's say if there is an word like uh, apple or something then we, our list will become a p p l e so there will be those characters stored in that list it is this the procedure is doing that here and now we are saying initially we are calling in our main pseudo code we are calling word list equal to word to list of x so our word list will represent whatever word list will represent subramanya mohan yeah yeah va va what this variable word list will store word list will store the value of x is right no no the word to list procedure whatever it returns that will be the value to be storing there okay word to list procedure is returning what we we, we tested that one with the list so that will be storing a dictionary of list what is a dictionary here like well, we sorry, have it list 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 of list list of that character which we are yeah. seeing list of the word what we tested we were just trying with the word list you know we are, we took word and now the word is converted to list of characters in word to list procedure right here right. the characters procedure characters variable is storing each each letter in binary iteration it will it will store each each letter in each every letters, right? yeah so it will be list of characters it will return this procedure word to list will return list of characters now we will no so now our this variable word list will store list of characters of that particular right. word which we have passed to that procedure right and now flag equal to is palindrome of word to list now we are passing that list of words word word list contains list of uh, letters of that particular word to is palindrome procedure so our procedure must be what is, is palindrome yeah is palindrome yeah. what is a palindrome the word should read same both ways it should read the same thing. in the forward as well as in the backward it root it should read same in reverse or in um, Oh. the forward direction it should read the same so now yeah now please you uh, you just check the options and you tell why first option is like we'll check the answers first and you should tell why the particular answer is option is wrong and why particular option is uh, correct you should say yeah yes just please i did through the first operation uh, option subramanya mohan length yeah first op option please tell like what is happening in that first option what do you think is happening in the first option in the first option if length is less than 1 return true and if length is not equal to yet yeah, tell quick quickly like yeah, just get lost see it's okay it's okay even if you say some mistake it's okay Your but name, you tell this is a movie equal to one written true other option also yeah whatever you think you just say like go through each line by line and you tell what is happening in that line It's wrong in the first two lines it went to less than Uh, can we really look? Can we just go? Okay, I will just open my procedure page. Just let my convenience. I want to see that one. So, someone want to volunteer? No, Subramanya Mohan should do this. He asked, okay. no. If procedure is uh, length is less than or equal to one, return true. If first uh, is not equal to last, no. Now that's wrong. If first is not equal to last, return false is wrong. It should be return true. Why? What is palindrome? You just think what is palindrome? First letter and the last letter should be equal. 
Yeah, if they are not equal, we are returning false. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If they are equal, if length is if less than or equal to one, what does it mean that? So if it is, if the word is not having a letter, if the word is not having the letter, then return true. See if, the length is, if the length, see, if the length is if the length is less than or equal to one means if our list is empty or if if our list list is like list of characters of that particular word no if mm -hmm. it has if it has like single character then we are returning true see if the if if the word i if i say i i is a, if let's take example as i I is a palindrome because even if we read from front to back or back to front, it will it will be still I. So it will be palindrome. The single letter words will be palindrome always. So if the length of L less than or equal to one, we should return true. If our if our and word has only right. there's no error in that. Yeah, if our word has only single character, then we are returning true. No error in that part. Okay. And then yes. in this, in the second, this if else block, what is happening in this if else yeah. block? You tell. You are comparing the first letter and the last letter. If it is not equal, then return false. That's also right. Then you are straight away. I mean, now you got to really move on to the else part. Return is parent dream. That's where we are getting stuck. Too many. Okay, I will help you. See, uh, let's say palindrome word, example of palindrome word is madam. So we'll see the first character of the list will be M and the last character of that particular list will be M. So yes. we will compare both the like yes. first of L yes. and last of L. Yeah. So it is true here. True, yes. Yeah, it will go to the else block. So I will take, I will give other example where it is not palindrome. Let's take it, the word it. The first letter will be of that list will be I and the last letter will be T. Okay. It will compare first and last letter of that list. I okay. and T are not same. So after checking, immediately after checking that one, that one checking only we will get false because we no need to check each and every element in the first iteration will itself we will get false because first and last letters are not same correct yes yeah yeah that's what happening in that if block and in the else block so if our first and last elements are same then we should check the second element and second last element no yeah that how is it happening in that uh... Code code part. Yeah. We need rest and L. So in order, to, one. in order rest to see is the that. remaining ones, no? Let's me tell you. In order to see whether the word is palindrome or not, it's just enough to check, enough to compare first letter with last letter and yeah. second letter with the second last letter, third letter with third last letter. So initially we we just we checked whether first letter and last letter are same. If it is if it is not same. We are returning false. If it is same, then we should check second la second letter and second last letter. So in this process, in else part, we are coming and to where else are part. We do, where are we doing the second letter and the second last letter? That's what we are doing in the, the else part. Block? Yeah. See, if first of L not equal to second last of L, then we will return false. If first of L equal to equal to last of L, then we will go to this. Can you please help me to understand in that uh, that line of the code? Else part is no? palindrome. In it rest L, no? In it so, is the initial word, the first word. Wait, wait. Let me tell you. Is palindrome? We are calling the function again. Is palindrome that procedure again? And we are telling like rest initially. Like you know, right? Board must rule is, break is it its first. Part, this is the part of the is palindrome procedure itself, no? Yes. This is a part of the use palindrome procedure itself, right? This line. Yes, yes. because it's inside. Yeah. See where our procedure is ending and is palindrome is here. No, return is here. So okay. our procedure is not finished. Now, return is palindrome of init of rest of L. What does rest of L will do? 
if we say rest of l of any list what it will do what operation it will do from second letter onwards it will start picking up so rest of l will return the list by yes. excluding that first letter and it will give all the other characters of our list here right okay okay yeah yeah that's that's what i thought but still we are not really see and with... in it of rest of l what will in it of rest second letter from... will be the rest of the l in it of the rest of the l second no what does in it of in it will do in it of it the excludes list. the last letter of the yeah it excludes the last letter so it will exclude the last character and it will return that our list so first letter is excluded and last letter is excluded and we will get the remaining list by doing this in it of rest of l so subramanya mohan please okay, try to understand the in it of rest of l is the one which really takes out the first and last letter you don't like you think yourself like you don't believe me and you start thinking like what in it and rest of l so if i said and you are telling no you just think like whether that will happen or not okay Uh, ah, yeah. man, man, sorry to intervene here in this example itself. It right. Yeah. Hello, man. Yes. I have checked my if condition, and my first letter and last letter are not same, right? Yes. So I went inside and I returned false. Yes. So my if part is done. So whether I will go into else part now? No. See the function ex. This procedure. Sorry, the procedure execution stops whenever it sees return. statements if the return statements is executed then the function return that that procedure will return that particular value and it stops the execution like so in this case what example you quoted it so it in, ha, it 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 so yeah. it means my procedure will stop at if like you know if yeah, only, it right? will return it will return false and the procedure execution will stop here itself okay. thank you so let's take the uh, Let's take a let's take a three-letter word like uh, mad. Okay. So, mad. So okay. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not. Now the second block is returning okay. false. Okay. Hmm. Then it has to go to the else block. No. No, it won't go. The procedure execution will stop whenever the return statement is executed. Like. Okay. Okay. the procedure will return that value and it will be silent no it won't do anything later that it won't go in the else block block and it won't it will check go into else block when first and last letter are same yeah it, like madam what she said no madam so if you take madam so first letter is m and last letter is m so it is and not it returns, then it will go into else then it will go into else else block right ma'am yes you are correct it will like if if condition is not satisfied then the, the execution to goes to else part right. if condition won't be satisfied if it is madam there the first letter is equal to equal to last letter so it will go and execute the else block in the else block it sees the return statement return is palindrome of in it of rest of l so it is calling the procedure is palindrome again with another okay. list the other okay. list is such that the first and last letters are removed of the, removed from that the list the That's original no, list no i gave an example oh, like mad no so yeah. now the second block is uh, executed and it it returns false yes now again it starts from the first block is it no it won't stop the function will return false okay. and it, okay. our it answer we got it. Yeah, we got our answer. Like mad is not a palindrome. We our flag written false. Okay, so it's it not. Now. It has done its purpose now. Mad is not a palindrome. That's all it needs to be done now. Yeah. So it okay by comparing the first and last letter itself, it is concluded. Yes. And in case of mad or madam, uh, you know the code, the cursor will, the command will not come inside the block itself because length is you know not less than equal to one. Length is more than one, right? Yes. The command will not get inside the any of the block, right? Yes. That's not my question, ma'am. What is the difference between length is uh, less than uh, or equal to one and uh, length is equal to equal to one, ma'am? See, less than or equal to one length can be the list can be empty. Let's say, like. List can be empty. Like there is no word. 
you know right recursion function there must be some base case the base case you know is so you don't know anything like you know only one thing like if there is a single letter then the, it is a palindrome you know only that thing so each letter you should break down the whatever letters you are seeing there you should break, like the op, you sh, there is a big word and you should say whether it's a palindrome or not the only thing you know is if it is one letter then you know it's definitely a palindrome so that is a base case there base case is a case like from where you you understood right whatever i is told now no ma'am i think it's dependent on the number of letters that the particular word has so suppose if the word we are taking is eight lettered word then what happens is it uh, uh, if it is a palindrome the first and last letter gets excluded then the second and uh, uh, seventh letter get excluded then third and so on fourth and fifth letter get excluded so in the final situation you get only zero letters so in that case uh, the base case will be length yeah length will, will be less than true. or equal to 1 right yeah so it will return length true length is zero in this case so it will return true in yes. and also if the word if the palindrome that we have selected is an odd lettered uh, odd let it has odd letter number of characters suppose single it has word. seven characters single word then yeah at the end single it will give single letter yes it will be the fourth letter which is there in the final iteration Yeah. So yes, it it can have both types of base uh, cases. To allow that one only we need to have to allow that one only we need to have uh, less than equal uh, less, less than equal to one. Not, one. Not yes. Not equal to equal to one, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, ma'am. Yeah. Now, now the first part of the code is it just checking the length of the list and the first letter. if these two things are compared then it decides that it is not a palindrome correct ma yes then return then when this else block will be get executed when it is first letter and the last letter is equal then we are in, this will be executed right yes yes then at that time what does it do it does it takes the first letter and the last letter you understood how it takes out the first letter and last letter yeah because init and rest it is given no okay okay what rest will do what init will do init is the first letter init will return init and rest will always return list first and last will later will return element so init in it will return the list by excluding the first character uh, first element of that list no, last ma'am in it ah uh, sorry 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 yeah in it in it will return the list by excluding the last element and rest will return the list by excluding the first uh, element of our list right so the list that's it now how does it progresses then we have the remaining things so we are calling this is palindrome procedure again by passing the it's in the okay it goes in the sits in the main main procedure the main code what main what you are telling now this procedure is called in the above one no code block yeah for, initially we are calling this procedure is palindrome yeah and if first letter equal to equal to last let last uh, element of our list then we are calling the list is palindrome procedure again by passing the list where first and last elements of our list are ex excluded excluded yeah so is palindrome procedure will be executed again by passing the other elements so it will check the it will compare second element with the second last element if they are not same then it will return false like it will the procedure will say false and we will we will say that we will set our flag to false if it is uh, if they are same then this this statement will get executed will get executed again and third letter and third last letter third will letter take letter. yeah and finally we will get a case where our length of list list will be either zero 
or one it will be zero for even number of if the word has even number of letters and it will be one if our word has odd number of oh, letters no. so so it will return true if if it hasn't encountered any this first of l is not equal to last of l it will finally will return true so that is like our word is a palindrome in that case uh, so our first option, the first the first option is is the right option but we can't conclude until we see the other things no so it will be more than one option is right but it is more than one option but you by seeing this code after executing this you can definitely tell like we are getting correct answer we are getting like if the word is a palindrome we are getting true if the word true. is not palindrome we are getting false. false so it's correct procedure why do we need to check other procedures also for this as it is a multiple select question you need to check other options as well yes, yes. that's crazy but In you the can second, definitely... second second procedure its length is equal to is equal to 1 is a wrong one, no? it got yeah, to be it's... less than or equal to 1 okay so this should this should be good only for odd odd letter word, is it? Yes. Yes. So yes. so that way that's only error in the yes, you are correct. Only error in the in the second option. Yeah. The second option is correct, right now? Second option is wrong. If length less than or equal to l less than is missing let's say if our word has uh, even number of uh, characters then the procedure won't return anything right it will it won't return anything in that case what is all your doubt all the four options <laughs> The Can you be a bit louder? It's <coughs> actually not audible. Am I audible now, ma'am? Yeah. Am, am I audible now, ma'am? Yes, yes. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that in all the four options, you know, the first if condition deals with whether length is less than one or equal to one, right? Yes. So I in, think but this, in the I but think, in the second option, we are telling only equal to equal to one, no? Right. So I think it deals with a single letter word or uh, empty list, right? It deals only with the like if our after doing like after doing all the operation, if we if we if we are left with only one character, then it will return true. If not, it won't return anything. But I I am not unable to understand like your doubt clearly. Like what where is your problem? Do you think the second option is correct or what? No. See, I am clear with the concept of palindrome, right? Okay. I am saying while checking whether the given word is palindrome or not, I think this particular problem deals with word which is having only one letter or, or you know, or an empty list. Because the first condition itself talks about whether the length is less than or equal to one. It means a word which is having only one letter or even no letter is there. Is it like that? Yeah. If our list is empty or if our list has only single character, then we should return false. I told previously, you know, if we have only single letter A or A or I or something, only one letter word, one letter word, then it should return true, right? Because okay. it is a palindrome. Even if we read forward or if we, even if we read backward, we will read it as I or A. A. So it should return true. So we are telling if length of L equal to equal to one, we are returning true. So we, we are not going to write a code exclusively for one letter word or an odd letter word. Right? Yes, Gender. yes. So that way it is wrong. What? It is not the right procedure. The option two is not right, is it? Okay, why? The reason is L is equal to equal to equal to one. Yeah. Okay, now going to the third one. Okay, third one appears also appears to be right. Thus, if the first equal to last year, then we are returning is palindrome, then the second and the rest of the letters. And this continues until we really reach out to less than or equal to one. Yes, then, it's right? correct. Yes. 
So the second one is also right. So third, third one, one. Is right? Fourth one. Of the fourth one is also right, appears to be right. No, why fourth is also correct? correct. Hmm. The L statement is wrong. No, 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 why it's correct? Please tell. Like, you guys are telling fourth option is correct. See, yeah, in the first block, we are testing for at least one equal to less than or equal to one. Okay, yes. and the second block, we are testing the first word and the last word. And the else first block, letter and last letter. Yeah, yeah, first letter and the last letter. And in the else, else block, we are comparing unit and rest, we are comparing. And that will continue. See, I will tell you what the, this procedure is still uh, uh, doing. So, yeah, but it is right only. I know it's wrong. See. No, wrong? Yeah. Basically, it doesn't test what is there in between. It if directly the first and last letter are equal, then directly it is giving true. Yes, you are correct. So we will see. Like we'll take one word example. Tweet. Okay, tweet. Tweet. T W uh, uh, W -E T. Yeah. So it will check first and last letter of that word. Both are same, and it will return true. But actually, our word is not palindrome, so it it is not checking the other cases. So to make it right, and uh, no, how do we really make it? Even if it is not equal to, also no. What is the there in that else state, else block? Right, return is palindrome. That should actually be in the if block, just next to oh, that's uh, what, if that's first that's equal to equal to last. No? Yeah, that's, that's what we are yes, doing yes. in the second so, option, third option. Third option, yeah, that's what in the third option. So, failing to do that one and the second if block itself, it is going to declare that it's a palindrome, which is not a palindrome, is it? Yeah. Oh man, it's really challenging. Okay. We are rushing. Oh uh, man, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm thank you. Uh, thank is you. Is it all right if I ask a question regarding week eight, ma'am? Yeah, it's all right. But I have yeah, uh, it's activity question eight point three. It feels like there's mistakes in the questions. That's why. Yeah, I'm done, ma'am. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, please check so, out like you have some problems. Uh, yeah, this question. Uh, not this one. Uh, the first one, 8.3. Yeah, it has. Like there is some confusion. Yes, like the only, only the stations which are starting points. It The graph has nodes of all the stations yeah, which okay. are either starting points of this, uh, that particular train or of any train starting no, point. That's fine, train. but but the statement right if only, only is there is in the confusion. statement yeah, yeah only, only should it be there if it was yeah. just saying the stations Shins. which are starting point yeah 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 i understand without the only if it was there. yeah yeah that was only. one of the uh, doubts and uh, uh, okay that is fine since it's a general confusion for everybody that's okay and about question number 5 ma'am uh, actually this question also, like a lot of uh, people has a lot of confusion regarding this question also. From station, generally you see from how do you travel from one station to other station. Oh, you can yeah. take either one train or you can take two trains or you can take a number of stations. I think it has to be getting plus two trains now. Yeah, it has to be like the question is like it has to be n plus two. Yeah, actually there is this confusion regarding this question also. So, n plus many... two trains, right? Yeah, yeah. Just stay a minute, just stay a minute, guys. Yeah, okay.
Yes. Yeah. Actually, there is confusion regarding this question. Yeah, will like some people like first someone for some it seems like n minus one is correct and the lecture which is related to this particular activity. Hello. This right, Madhavan sir has told that if there are a uh, total of capital n number of uh, stations or nodes, am I audible? Hello, am yeah. I audible, ma'am? Yes, now no, you put. Uh, am I audible to everybody Hello. else? Oh, voice is breaking. You are audible, but voice is breaking. You are audible to me. One second. Yeah, your I'm voice is like very low. Okay. Uh, okay, how about now? Now it's fine. Yeah, much better. You tell, like. Yeah, so in the activity, uh, uh, this activity question, whichever lecture it is related to, uh, the lecture 8.3, right? So Madhavan sir has told in that, that uh, uh, capital, if there is capital in number of nodes, then the number of uh, paths which are connecting it or the number of edges is capital N minus one. So in other words, capital in, if there is n number of stations, then there is n. But nowhere in the question is it stated that there is n number of uh, stations. So we have to first figure out how many stations are there, which we can do by uh, computing it from the number of hops which are there. Yeah. Right? Yes. So there is n plus, the procedure is for n plus one number of hops. So for a direct train, the number of stations which it is connecting is two. For one hop train, it is connecting three stations. So in that same way, if you see, uh, there should be n plus one. one. Hops, yeah, n plus one hops will connect n plus three number of stations. So there's a total of n plus three stations. So the number of trains which are connecting the stations will be n plus three minus one. That is equal to n plus two. Yeah. See here, there should be some uh, the some like some information is is missing in this question. What does here n hops refers to something like that? Some information is missing in this question. Yeah. In this, we will rectify it soon. Actually. And yes. also fourth one, can you tell me why option uh, D is correct in fourth question? So we are drawing an edge I mean, from... I understand why it is correct, but if you go by a mathematical perspective, you know, if you look, uh, I get it, ma'am, like direct IJ, it will one, if it's equal to one, then direct J is also equal to coming back also. Yeah. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, now you are audible, but your internet is like going on and off. Yeah, then... yeah sorry. So I understood that fourth option, it is correct. But if fourth option is correct, then I believe second option should also be correct, right? From a mathematical perspective. If direct of IJ is one, then direct, then there is a direct connection from station J to station I. Yeah. 
yeah if further for if we see this fourth option and then if you want to answer then it will be correct without saying that yeah yeah that's true that's why i had this doubt mom it should either be only first and third option are correct but if you are going to consider that fourth option is correct because see in our uh, day trains data set which we were given okay fine fourth option is correct but what if it is something like this suppose there's a direct train from let's say chennai to bangalore but uh, from bangalore to chennai suppose there is not a direct train instead you are going then... from bangalore to somewhere else and then another train is there from there to chennai then direct ij will not be equal be to equal direct, direct to j yes yeah but yeah. not yeah. implied that one is it if direct ij is one ji equal to one is not necessarily a... yeah it's not necessary okay. but because we have state we because of our data set that train data set or station data set which we have like uh, the, if there is a train from i to j then there is also like return uh, like return station also from j to i uh, return train also from j to i station no so that's why this fourth option is correct but if we see this fourth option then the second option also will be correct no yes. like if direct of ij is one then there is a direct connection from station j to station yeah yeah, yeah that is the yeah, point these are yeah these are the yeah will definitely the these are will agree with our uh, definitely the the doubts which we need to rectify yes ma'am question number 1 4 and 5 yeah definitely definitely we will rectify this question so okay, okay. You, after this quiz or something okay. thank you thank you for your time thank. yeah good observation yeah thank you Can I order one? Yes, yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, this is related to mock test, ma'am. Are we going to get this mock test or whatever have been updated in the month of April? We have to practice with that only. Mock so test. Three, because there are three mock tests, right? Those are yeah. those are there in our portal, but those were updated, you know, uploaded in the month of April. So we have to practice with that only, ma'am. Or are we going to get this mock test? No, no. I think it is an old mock test. the old mock test only na yeah, yeah, yeah correct, the old correct. mock test were already our answers are uh, there correct. because till, till now we have not got any notification you know that we are going to have this mock test so what is that you are asking is are we going to resubmit this mock test no 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 we are not supposed to resubmit i am asking that uh, are you know are we going to get this mock test question paper or we have to practice with this question paper only uh, i as things stands i believe this is all what we are going to get it okay. nothing okay ma'am any update from your side yeah actually like i also need to check with the admins and all like um, whether the, you are going to get fresh mock or not we'll see like yeah, yeah so today today at 5 o'clock admin was talking and they just declared that already they loaded uploaded it correct and correct. i tested that one the one what they uploaded is the same as the old one You are correct. You are correct, Mr. Mohan. I also heard that. So it means they are talking only about what has been uploaded already in the month of April. Yeah. I don't think that they are going to upload fresh question paper. Only for the next one, they said they are going to give some practice correct. quizzes. That's all. Correct. Correct. That's not also real quiz. Uh, uh, ma'am, one more thing. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You uh, can. Gen generally, in case of practice assignment and graded assignment. Some sometimes we get that PDF file is attached there, and in many ways we are finding that PDF file is not attached. So it will be a great help if you can upload PDF files of both practice assignment as well as graded assignment. Yeah, we'll upload. We'll okay. upload. Okay. Minimum, we'll note it down to, and yeah, we'll upload. Minimum, Thank you. Yeah, you want the PDF solutions of both practice and graded not assignment, solution, whatever, about, whichever not, weeks. No, not only solution. I am talking about the question paper also. In many weeks, if you click, there is a PDF link for the graded assignment and for the uh, you know practice assignment. But there are okay. many weeks, but there are many weeks when there is no you know link PDF link over there. Because sometimes what happens, we find it difficult to, to read. The PDF file is there, the readability improves. Okay, yeah, we'll attach.
Yeah, you can like we can practice assignments easy. Look at those questions and yeah, everyone understood this that unique procedure. What is happening in this unique procedure? Do anyone want to explain this? Want to like need an explanation for this? Yes, Subramanya Mohan, you understood this question? I'm just seeing it now only. Okay, please. Like, yeah, I think others, you had a look at those questions, at these questions. Okay. Yeah, like you, anyone can volunteer and can tell like whatever you have understood from this question. Yeah, it really it helps you. Like whoever volunteers, like it it will benefit to them more. By just seeing it. Okay. Yeah, you understood Subramani Mohan or not? Uh, I just finished the first option and so I'm just moving on. To, okay, the, the objective is to remove the unique letters, the unique elements in the list. Yeah, I understood the purpose of it. I'm just going through the options. Okay. May require another few minutes uh, to talk, at least talk about it. I may not be talking rightly, but at least I have some confidence to talk. Yeah, you can you can discuss like why what is happening in the first option. You understood like what is the what is happening in the unique uh, procedure? Procedure unique. It returns the unique elements in the list after removing the duplicates. Yeah. So it's so, a list of words only. It is not the real word. Right? So unique is a procedure that accepts a list as input. We, they haven't mentioned what list we are passing. Yeah. It returns the unique elements in the list. So it can be numbers, it can be characters, or it can be anything. Yeah. It should return only unique elements in that particular list. Okay. After no, removing, I, no, I have a confusion here. Whether it, in, when you say that it is unique elements, or are, are they separated by commas, or it, is, it can be a yes, they are string. No, they yeah, a string like okay. If there is it, it, it in the list, it will return only one list, uh, only one it in the list. Yeah, so mm, it is yeah. just one. No, it, it I let one me finish. Yeah, if there is a a a, then it will let only one a in that uh, as our output. Okay. It's not a yeah. It's not a list with multiple elements. So it is a list with one element. So yeah. And no, it's not like that. It can be multiple elements, or they can be only single element in our list. Okay, so the list can be with the single list, single element, or a multiple element. Yeah, okay.
Yeah. What if length the first of L? Okay. If length of L is then equal to L one, return L. What does that mean? So if our list has only one element, one element. Let's say if our list has one word. Apple or something, then it should return only that particular word that is unique word for that particular list. Or if our list has only single letter as our as single letter like A or B or C in the list, then it should return that particular word that is the only unique element that list for. So it should return only that particular element if length is less than or equal to one. That yeah. is, if our even if our list is empty, yeah, that that is. In this, if length less than or equal to one case, and last of element and in it of elements, you understood this, right? Yeah. Last element holds last element of our list, and in it element holds mm -hmm. uh, the like except that last element of our list, it will return the other elements. It will return the other elements of the list. Okay. Uh, any element is is not returning the first letter. First element. In it, in it, element will return list. That list holds all the elements except the last element last of element. our list. Oh, that's why it's in it elements. Yeah, please. Yeah, I didn't it. observe that one. In it elements, and it is a last element. Huh? Yeah. So the first option is So, I will uh, give you a hint. I will give you a hint. Like, if 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 we see, like, we will check the last element, and we will check whether the last element is present in that in the elements. Like, we will check whether the last element is there in the rest, in the rest of the list. If it is there, then we no need to. Include that list. If it is not, if if we no need to include that last element because we can get that uh, same element by iterating through your that. Your uh, voice is the list which garbled. we have. No, your voice is garbled. Really, I think it is some connection problem. Garbled means? Oh, it is not okay, clear yes, like uh, previously. It's breaking or it is uh, smudging. Okay, now is it okay? No, it's clear but not very audible. Yeah, it appears that you're a bit away from the mic. Okay, now? Now it's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. we are talking about the option one. Okay. Well, what is what we are checking the option one? Remember, unique elements, last elements, return unique in elements. Else, return. We are checking the unique elements and the last element. Return if it is a unique unique elements. So, like we will check. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we, we are. No, no, no. What you will do is quickly run through the all options and oh. see which option is. Do you think which option is correct? Like, yeah, which option is correct? Do you think? Quickly, more see which option is correct. Like, after seeing, like, yeah.
Yeah, in the first option, because uh, in the first uh, first code block, it returns yeah. if it is equal, it returns unique init elements. Else, also it returns unique init elements plus the last element. So it should not be returning uh, unique init elements. No, it should See, be returning only the unique elements. That's the reason uh, why it is not right. And uh, I'm just I'm just completing my. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And probably you can comment on my way of reading the code. Okay. Second second block. It should return unique init elements, but it is instead it is returning init elements. So that's not right. Same is for third. And I believe fourth is the right option. Why fourth is the right option? Because it, when you are comparing and uh, if it is uh, equal, we are returning, if it is the unique elements are there, then we are returning the unique unique elements. Else we are returning, no. What is the difference between first and last same? Return unique elements. Yeah, the yeah the 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 last one is having a list of last element. So last element is not a list. No, it's a single element. Oh, I'm getting confused between one and four. So what is your confusion? Uh, Uh, only one thing has to be clarified on the last element as a list it is given. Okay, last element as a list. Yeah, so how do you add elements to a list? Another list. Yeah. So even if it is a single element, it got to be in the list. Yes. Okay. Then that's the reason why I chose Okay, now I summarize it. Okay, the first one is not adding a list. That's the reason it's not right. And the second one is not returning the unique unique elements. Third one is also same reason. And fourth one is returning unique unique elements. And the else block is adding up another list. So fourth one is right. This is my observation. I don't know whether. Yeah, fourth one is correct. The thing is, like, yeah. Is it the right so, correct for the right reason or for wrong reason? It's correct. Yeah, unique. Yeah, but you interrupt. I don't know, like, but it's correct. Yeah, but you are missing some part. Actually, you are missing some concept in that. Oh, really? Tell you. Yeah. So, uh, this is unique of. So this is our list, entire list one three one three five. Let's no. say this is our list. I'm so we are passing this list to unique procedure. What? What happened? No, I was on the code block. Are you able to see this? Yeah, yeah. No. Are you able to I'm, see I'm this? I'm back on this one. Yeah. So this is like we are passing this list to the unique procedure. Now what happens? So we are checking this last element with init elements of of our list. So our last element is 5 and init elements of our list are 1, 3, 1, 3. So it will check whether 5 is in this or this. We are checking whether member, right? We are using member of init of elements, comma 5. So in that we are checking whether 5 is a member of this init elements list. Okay. So it's not a member. If it is not a member, then we are adding we like in the return statements we are telling return of unique elements like unit of unique elements plus plus last element so return of unique of init elements so we are passing only this 
and the last element. The last element is three now, and the unit elements are one three one. The five is added to our list. Right. So three, it will check three with the other elements. So three is there in that unit elements. So we should not add three to our list because it's already there. Duplicate is there. Right. Yeah. Now the other element is the. One. Now the last element is one, and unit elements are one and three. So it will check whether one is there in this list. Yeah, one is here duplicated. So it will it will it won't store like one also. Now it will now the last elements unit element is unit elements are three and one, and the last element is three this time. Now it will check whether three is in the list or not. Yeah. Three is not in our init elements list, so it will add three also to three also to the this five this the output which we are carrying on from the like from before before iteration. So three will be added to our return list, and it will the other element. And in the second iter in the last iteration, the element will last element will be one, and the the senate elements will be an empty list. It will check whether one is there in another empty list or not. One won't be there in the list. So one also will be append appended to our this Maybe. the return list. So this is how like each last we are checking whether the last element is duplicated if it is duplicated then it will be present in our init elements if if it's not duplicated then it won't present in our init elements and we will, we should add that element to the our return return list elements okay okay yeah is everything cool. clear yeah if so like there may be many elements like let's see like one three one three five it should return unique elements like what are the unique uh, elements in this list only one three five right one and three are duplicated but one and one one is present two times three is present two times and five is present one time but the thing is like with what elements the list is made up of only one three and five now we want that elements in our list so it is not that unique elements means only the one time presented elements so you are going to take repetitive elements one time and the one time element also right? the thing That's is like thing. yeah the thing is like with the what our list is made up of basically like if we have uh, like you understood right with what elements our list is made up of with the what unique elements yeah after seeing the block diagram now the code is clear yeah okay ma'am where the solutions are uploaded which which thing the, the ones the ones what you are showing right now ma'am yeah where is the where is this we are asking yeah where is it now uploaded in the portal yeah it's there in this uh, practice assessment solution pdf did you receive practice assessment solution pdf I'll check that one, ma'am. Thank you. Thanks for the information. Yeah. No, it is not there. Practice assignment solutions are not there. You are from April qualifier people or your term two people? We are April qualifier people. So okay, in the term two page it's there, but in the April qualifier people, I think it's not there. Okay, well definitely will upload. Okay, thanks for this information. This is a big. This is a big thing. What we are finding too much of a uh, trouble. Uh, like uh, Mohan sir also, I am finding also a very good trouble. And another person, uh, some lady also complained in the same manner, ma'am. Ma'am, I mean, at some point in time, you should stop differentiating these two because. Going forward, it has been told that when both the batches are same, the thing is not with not in our hands. The people team, not the people who have uh, like we gave the all inputs to them. These should be there. Yeah, I'm not... But the port, uh, yeah, portal team, like people, uh, people know they they are like use both the same. Like both content should be released simultaneously. Okay, everything should be uploaded. But there is like they're uploading in one portal and they're forgetting in the other portal. Yeah, the thing is like. 
why don't you why don't you link us to that portal because is there anything specific to that batch which we should not see i think they are having a student id sir that could be one of the biggest i uh, think for okay. technically what they are not able to do i believe yes. I, i don't know yeah even i'm also not sure but the people they are like already qualified people no they have that unique student id and all but the this qualified people no you haven't gave any exam so yeah. you don't have quali- like we actually don't know who is going to be in and who is going to be out so you have interested any id id for that purpose only yeah okay so, so without after that, without that we are we need to do everything in a mist kind of thing ma'am uh, like sir actually whether it is right or wrong we are not sure about it because we are not able to check immediately yeah i see basically even if we tell you and you got to carry the message to another set of people so whether they are really executing it or they missed to execute nothing checks them okay as a blanket rule at least for all practical assignments the solutions has to be uploaded is that right yeah you should yes yeah you yeah, should you can it. just tell that statement to the portal management guys probably they might really take it Because in your in in your view actually uh, uh, five six seven and eight uh, sorry nine ten also uh, uh, will not be reaching us ma'am so it will be very difficult for us to uh, uh, practice for ourselves for the august examination that is uh, august eighth examination we cannot yeah we are not yeah by the time like your qualifier will be finished no so that the solutions like everything will be i think they will make everything available to you also the people who ever has qualified every content will be made available to you also but as of now like you people have not qualified right like also yeah, like yeah. they are we could understand that one. yes okay all right as and when we request at least you take a specific uh, Yeah, you people giving this the quiz two and quiz three will or only qualifier. Yeah. Quiz two and quiz three. Yeah, we are, we are going to we are going to concentrate only first four weeks now at least for the next few days. They are giving concession on uh, quizzes, but uh, they are wording like this uh, to us, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. Balance. What? What? Uh, not allowing us to uh, know the uh, correct answers okay. kind of thing that is a uh, i mean a handicap kind of thing uh, i feel like see it's a clear thing now uh, when you show that uh, solution block diagrams and after we reading the code it makes lot of sense until then uh, yeah we we just read the code the way what we imagine that's correct ma'am we are not able to distinguish between uh, uh, the correct one and wrong one also very easily we will be fa- uh, falling down uh, because as uh, <clears throat> one and fourth actually uh, sir also uh, mistaken a bit that that a bit of clarity will gives a lot of uh, difference when it comes to unique actually i also thought in the uh, same mohan's uh, mohan sir's way like uh, unique should be a unique kind of thing there will not be any repetitions but that is not the case uh, uh, in the question that has been uh, mentioned in the author so to understand that simple point and uh, misled uh, by the uh, our own uh, kind of uh, analysis of the question uh, are giving a bit of troubles means uh, <clears throat> we are not able to do it properly as well uh, we are not able to score for our uh, final uh, 60% 70% uh, requirement that is ne- very much needed to write the final examination also ma'am please uh, please uh, do uh, i mean uh, <laughs> <clears throat> propose it to some of the people who are there yeah but they, yeah they like they also will argue like yeah once the qualifier is done the people who are in we will release content to those people so that they can uh, yeah so yeah definitely will talk to them but okay Yeah, one one nine two questions are done from this practice assignment. We have already discussed. Three, three is there. Three is a new confusion. Yeah, three. You can look this third question. It's simple only. Okay, it's simple. If you are able to do one and two, you can do third also. Yeah, 
you just try to do like what is happening in this third question take example as to positive integers so here they gave a and b are the positive integers no let's assume 10 and i do some positive any positive positive integers and do and execute the procedure then you will get uh, you will understand so it's clearly given no what uh, what is the return value of calculate of 12 comma 3 so execute that and what is what value you are getting please tell okay we can, for that we can take uh, the what is the return value of 12 comma 3? We can just look into the last block of the code is sufficient. You execute and you tell what answer you are getting. Ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, I have a doubt in uh, understanding a part in greater assignment. Can you please tell? I told you right. Uh, yeah, which which part? Ma'am, in grade assignment. Yeah, in which question? Um, uh, wait, then one Ma'am, in eighth question. As we have time, can we really finish this and move over there? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, people will start with this practice assignment. Later we can discuss. Actually, this whole session is meant for this practice assignment session, no? Yeah, as soon as we finish that, then we'll move on to the question. Yeah, we'll finish this practice assignment questions and then we'll move to that. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Um, answer of this question is uh, three. Uh, uh, as uh, I have executed it uh, earlier. Okay, we'll we'll check and uh, we'll. Okay, you you won't get even the solutions also. Which answer is correct and which answer is wrong? You don't get that, huh? On your portal. Yeah, Subramanyam Mohan or anyone like 
what's your answer like yeah. everyone got no. three yeah the answer is three definitely like can you tell how you executed someone anyone yeah i can i can take a chance and uh, probably yeah. other you can really put their views yeah see the first one is a comma b the arguments a comma b is 12 comma 3 mm yes so in the first a block uh, it is uh, it's not uh, it, it is not compliant so a is greater than b so and second block also a is not equal to b so it's not going there so difference of a minus b is 9 which is greater than b so yeah then we can calculate the difference comma b uh, i don't know what is this calculation so i assume that it is division <laughs> which one calculate what what is that calculate calculate is a procedure right we are calling the procedure again with this with the difference what okay, okay. are diff Okay. you should understand this you have solved that one and two questions so then you should know recursion right a function calling itself by okay. itself is called recursion okay. then so that's why it is 3 9 comma 3 is written calculate b difference Three comma nine. Okay, nine three nine three. Okay, three three nine 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 comma 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 three. 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 That's what returns. Nine return. No, it returns return calculate of nine comma three. That is the calculate of nine comma three will be executed again. So it will check whether a less than b, uh, whether nine less than b. Whether nine less nine less than three? No. Nine equal to three? No. Then we will do difference again. Difference equal to nine six, minus three. Yeah. That is six. Six yeah. is greater than three. three. So we will re you will return. You will go to return calculate of six comma three. Yeah. Uh, whether yeah. yeah. And you so will do difference three. again. Yeah. Again, diff will be three. Then at difference one stage it is three. a and b are. Yeah. Equal. So again it will come to calculate three comma three. Yeah, calculate three comma three. In that case, a equal to equal to b. Then it yeah, so it will return b. three, right? Three, right. three is the answer. Yeah. So my answer is right, but reason is wrong. Yeah, a little. <laughs> you yeah, see the thing is you know the things but the thing is we are unable to apply them properly i understood you are uh, the yeah you yeah know, you know the things but you are like not completely but yeah no the first time itself calculate and what calculation that's where mind is really tracked out yeah now the recurring recursions After you sounded see, okay. whenever you see return calculate of difference comma b, you should not return out of the function. You should what what you should execute that calculate procedure again with that difference and b values. Okay. Okay. Now the next one is fourteen comma seventeen. So this complies to the condition a less than b. So, so return. Yeah, you understood how to do this, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I got finally three equal to three. Then the return is B. That's value. That's the value. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. The okay. We have time now. Uh, we'll see how many questions. Third question is also fifth question is also similar, and uh, uh, sixth question. See, like for any two. Two integers a comma b. Let's take twelve and three. We got three as our answer. So what does calculate of a comma b will ret is returning? For every two, um, it, it is returning a CF of two numbers. Okay, let us this also thing actually. Okay, you want you. I understood like you got the answer, but the let us this also should thing no. They also should get something. Yeah, your answer is correct. A comma B. So let's take example as twelve and three. For twelve and three, you got output as three. So what is what does 
the procedure is returning back. Yeah, when it is returning three, that is the HCF of the twelve one three. Yeah. So. Uh, if that is the case, then the, <laughs> what is the return value of fourteen and seventeen? What is the return value of fourteen and seventeen? There is no a common factor. Can you say common factor? No. Fourteen and seventeen. There is no common factor. Yeah. So one will be the common factor. One is the common factor, right? Yeah. So that would be the answer. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah. Then you should do this for the question. How many times the procedure calculate called in order to complete the calculate fourteen comma seventeen? Let's say fourteen seventeen uh, really reaches out to one. So when we tell it is fourteen. You play while doing. You also note that note note down how many times you are calling the procedure. Calculate fourteen comma seventeen, including the first call. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But why do we need to count the NAP procedure? How many times the calculate is being used? Because it is the question. It should check the way. Uh, which question you are talking? Oh, okay, okay. How many times? Okay. Yeah. Question. They are talking about fifth question, is it? Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If it is not the question, you won't calculate. Just to see, like, how many times you are doing that, we are asking. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't read that question. Yeah, you check. That's why. Everyone, please count like how many times it's doing. Ma'am, we have to count the original function as well. Yes, they told no, including the first call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it is coming nine. Okay, which would the first call? Right? How do we quickly make that? First, we will start with fourteen and seventeen. First block itself. Yeah. There itself we are. And then see the condition. Then it will be reversed. Seventeen comma fourteen. And you jump over to the next one. So yeah. Like, okay. uh, then you will find the diff. And again, it flip flops or goes on the other side. Yeah. So, then fourteen comma three. So it's nine times, huh? Then eleven comma three. Then again you will uh, subtract diff eight comma three. Then again you will subtract eight comma three. Sorry, five comma three. Five comma three. Yeah. And then again. Uh, uh, five five. Yeah. Yeah. Again you will uh, uh, find the difference. Then uh, three comma two. And uh, then it will be uh, reverted. Then one. Two comma one. Yeah. Then one comma one. one. Oh, this this a minus b difference is the one which finds out the common factor. I uh, have x here. Yes, this is yeah. simple. Like, yeah, that's right. And then the last one. Yeah, six, two, seven. Tell this, uh, Subramanian Mohan. You should answer this. Others should please keep uh, keep quiet. Seven to okay. one, no. Uh, seventh seventh one. one is true only. Okay. Assume what what is the result of yeah why it's true? Why it's true? Because a comma b and b comma a. Anyway, it's a recurring. And that the the difference is being calculated in either of the cases until a is equal to b. That's why I said true. Okay, I think his answer is say, itself in the sixth question. The reason is mentioned. Uh, in the the thing question. is, like, if you give twelve or three, or if you give three and three or twelve, you are getting the same answer. Why? Because uh, you are like. Because we are calculating the and HCF and HCF will be same only. Hello. Please come again. Whether it is twelve or three or fourteen or seventeen. No, either it's a twelve or three. A or A comma B. Okay, okay, okay. Twelve comma three or three comma twelve. Okay. We are getting the same answer. You get yeah, the yeah. same answer. So what makes Because the same answer is that the difference. 
no the main you reason is yeah same thing, thing same you thing know. because you are calculating ultimately you are calculating the hcf of two number right the no no whether it is 12 comma 3 or 3 comma 12 yeah the only difference is the number of times a calculated procedure is called is different but in neither of the either of these recursions the ultimate will get the is same answer, answer because yes, because if a less than b say let's say you are giving uh, 3 comma 12 in that case you will say in that case it it is like a less than b condition will be satisfied then you will then the return will give return b calculate of b comma a that means calculate of 12 comma 3 it will become so yes. either so what here by execution a should represent uh, like greater number and b should represent small number that is how the procedure is framed right uh, yep so that's the main reason we are getting uh, even if we give that 3 comma 12 or 12 comma 3 we are getting the same number as output okay you are done so when you when you are put this assignment completely you know yourself no i think your voice is breaking now again yeah now you have done this practice assignment questions by yourself no please try to do these questions again like again by yourself okay without taking any help and try to do then you will yeah then you will this is how you can improve yourself then you will understand like okay what then you will remember this the concept yes, also okay then that. you will get more doubts also yeah then yes, you will get more That's doubts also same time if you please upload that uh, visuals no the solution for this practical assignment that will be for a lot more help the thing is like now you are able to do yourself no the th i told you right qualifier people after qualifying every content will be same okay But no no that's fine but now you can specifically ask them to upload it no for even for Which? preparing okay what you are telling is okay after submission of assignment tomorrow you can forget it for some time so by the time when the qualifier results are out then you get everything okay fine we can take that no issues yeah try to think and you get you have like we have many live sessions also right yeah. from tomorrow also we have this four some four five six revision we expected to get a, at least an extension of tomorrow's submission but nobody was having any mercy you like if there is something like that extension you will be notified earlier till now if you haven't got anything means that you should submit within the date okay they they said only for 10 assignment number 10 yeah that see you have got extension for assignment 10 because ninth week it's there in that uh, quiz 3 or quiz 3 definitely you should learn that for learning that you should solve first no this graded assignment yeah yes now uploaded the hall ticket okay the uh, practice assignment is done uh, week 9 activity questions or week 8 any practice or graded assignment questions you can ask okay okay we have time no yeah ma'am can now can we proceed to, to graded assignment problem yeah yeah we'll look we'll have a look what is your doubt question um, and question number 5 question number 5 and 8 okay where is your doubt ma'am can you scroll down please Now, what is meaning of ma'am? Wait, wait a minute, ma'am. What is meaning of numeric in it? Plus one, ma'am. What is plus one? What we are doing here? What is numeric will do? Ma'am, okay, numeric. Okay, it will return. Well, uh, huh, numeric. What does numeric will do here? Did they explain this? Ma'am, they didn't explain about numeric. They are. Uh, uh just uh, telling about the blank skate what it is doing okay is this question is continuation of some other question no ma'am it is uh, individual uh, question only yeah yeah ma'am it is individual
Okay, which question? Sorry, I forgot fifth question now. Yeah, my fifth question. Hey, the question is like you should fill this numeric uh, procedure, no? Okay, what yeah. is the question? It's like uh, you should fill this numeric procedure, no? That is the question only. Okay. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, you. What is your doubt here? Ma'am, uh, what is meaning of plus one here? Plus one and minus one. Plus one. What is what is the meaning of plus one? You tell. Yeah, oh, ma'am. Uh, I I know what is uh, it, but uh, ma'am, uh, suppose that if we have uh, uh, something like kind of array kind of thing, uh, in which we have won, lost, won, lost, or something, uh, and uh, we uh, uh, suppose that we add plus one to it, then what will be what will it mean, or uh, after uh, in else condition when we uh, subtract to uh, uh, one uh, we are uh, See, uh, and the people whoever has asked out so i can explain you in this part like in this above part in the data or something if you have any issue i can definitely i can help you okay but you are asking directly the option so i am not supposed to discuss here okay it's strictly like uh, that's I'm what the thing is, you are asking directly in the option, no? So it's not. Uh, Ma'am, uh, as it is given here uh, in question, uh, one lost, one lost. Uh, Ma'am, our array will be something like that, and uh, how will we uh, increment plus one in it? Uh, suppose that if we add, uh, suppose that we are uh, appending any one or lost, then uh, it will be plus plus or something like that. Yeah, uh, I understand. Only, then, only then yeah. we will, ma'am. Uh, can I complete, ma'am? Only then we will get uh, zero uh, in numeric outcomes uh, equal equal to zero. I think so. Yeah, but sorry, like uh, the thing I told you, right? The options. Yeah, the please like answer like whatever you think it's most correct. You answer that, but later after this assignment submission, we can definitely answer your query. Okay. Um, uh, but can you please tell what is meaning of plus one here? Uh, is it appending something or no? It's it, not uh, appending. Okay, if it is appending, then it's clearly plus plus one. It's not definitely appending. I can tell you to this extent. Okay. You don't confuse like it as appending. Appending is not appending is something. It we should use plus plus and there should be some that list uh, square brackets also for appending. It's not appending, okay? So, ma'am, uh, now how will we answer it? I don't know. I I'm not so, like you can definitely you try. You think like uh, whatever. Like I think we can feel... discuss this after the deadline. Yeah. If you ask in this upper some data part, I can definitely uh, like I can tell you help you. But you are asking directly the options, which I am not supposed to do. And we have very limited time. Discuss. It's better to discuss other questions that you are supposed yeah, to okay. answer. Ma ma okay. Ma please, ma 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 uh, one more question, please. Yeah, sure. In okay. grade assignment part. Okay. Again, he is asking from the same grade. <laughs> um, oh, see, um, the people are not even people they, because they knew like I won't answer, so they are thinking like it's time time waste. Yeah, you also you also want to get much like from graded assignment because with after finishing deadline you can get some info. Okay. I'm um, in eighth question. Okay, what's your okay. Please don't please ask I'm this. Scroll. Please I'm scroll down, please. Ma'am, uh, here, ma'am, wait, wait. Ma'am, what is meaning of P0 minus 1? Ma'am, I think that it means that we are reverting back. Which one? Uh, in graph. Ma'am, in uh, 8. You have 0 equal, equal to minus 1. Yeah, ma'am. What is P? Uh, ma'am, P, P is P definitely uh, list. Uh, okay, P must be different here, dictionary, sorry. Um, 
see here p is a dictionary and you are calling p of 0 i equal to whatever key 0 key is replaced by minus 1 that's all the value of, of the 0 key is replaced by minus 1 that's all okay value of the fifth key like p of fifth key is replaced by minus 1 that's 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 okay that till that i can tell you P of zero equal to minus one means the value of that particular zero key is replaced by minus one. That's all. Okay, the other people whoever are asking that doubts, you can ask like. Um, can I ask from the Some period assignment? You uh, like you have some... Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So question number three, I think I'm missing something. So can you help me? Yeah. Okay, matrix help. When matrix help will become, you understood, right? Uh, yeah. It is storing the matrix chem, chem physics, physics and, and maths. Yeah. maths. Yeah. yeah. What's your doubt here? Um, Ma'am, in option uh, four. Okay. If matrix ij equal to zero, yeah. then matrix j equal to three. Is that? See, if, if all the values are zero of ij then matrix j is necessary when matrix ch of ij will be one tell or when matrix ph of ij will be one if the when difference will be uh, in between 10, 10 to 20. 20 yeah 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 if the difference is between 10 to 20 10 then to it 20. will become one if not then it is yeah uh, like yeah. 10 is 10 and 20 both are included so right. if it is not then it won't be one correct one. it, would, it right. will be zero yeah right. if not yeah so we are telling matrix ij equal to zero so zero zero no right. difference like mat uh, between the marks between i and j yeah. is not they are not between, in a range yeah yeah they are not in our range yeah. then matrix help of j i equal to three so yeah. uh, you are telling like so ij is here also like i i and j are not within range then right. does it mean that j and i will be in the range uh, no but uh, we are selecting the last option then it should be also wrong now okay if matrix it's definitely so if mat I is greater than I is within the range. Okay, of I J. is greater than J, right? Yeah, I then it not then, then J it, can't then, be greater then, than I. Yeah, right. Then it's definitely <laughs> oh, like I'm J sorry. can't be. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. got it. Thank okay, you. Okay, it's okay. Ma'am, would you, would you explain question number five from practice assignment nine? Yeah. Uh, okay. Like, have you solved like? Uh, that I told you, you know to execute how many times procedure calculate is calling that told you know right calculate is calling for the question this one you are asking yes ma'am okay 14 comma 15 just you do this now 14 comma 17 right 14 comma 17 which one is great for is 14 less than 17 yes so yes. return calculate of b comma a then it will become 17 comma 14 now is 17 no, at that equal stage to it is number one cycle call number one time so you had doubt is like regarding what is what will be the output it's not number of times right okay. number had doubt is output. no had doubt is fifth question yes okay. yeah you should you should somewhat like I need your help to proceed this because without your presence, I can't solve this question. Please, you please like interact and uh, solve this all together. Okay. Hello, where is she? Like she is gone or what? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I'm now here. you tell. Yeah. Now the return calculate of B comma A. It will. So you understood, right? If A less than B, then yes, we are telling return calculate of B comma A. 14 less. Uh, 14 less than 17. So it will become 17 comma 14 here. 14. 
yeah calculate of 7 comma 14 so all these two conditions will not be true so it will cal it will come to this lines mm -hmm. these yeah. lines will be executed difference equal to 17 minus 14, minus 14. which is will which will be 13 3 3 yeah if 3 greater than b what is our b value 14 no yes yeah it's not it's not okay. greater than so it will execute these lines calculate difference yes. of b comma uh, difference b is 14 comma 14. 3 you know yes. 14 comma 3 now uh, 14, these lines also will not be executed these conditions will be filled now difference will be calculated again difference equal to 14 minus 3 that is 11 yes ma'am yeah difference equal to 11 and what is our b value 3 you know yes ma'am so if difference greater than b 11 okay. greater than b 11 greater than 3 so return of cal return calculate of 11 comma 3 am i doing correct am i executing this correctly or am i uh, doing it wrongly yes right? ma'am yes ma'am it's correct yeah 11 comma 3 so uh -huh. this procedure if a less so these lines also won't be executed right yes ma'am uh, difference equal to 11 minus 3 that is like 98 uh, eight. Eight. If difference greater than uh, three, like eight greater than three, yes. yes. So calculate of eight comma eight comma three. three. No. Yes, ma'am. So these lines also won't be executed. This will come here directly. So difference equal to eight minus three. That is five. Five. Five greater than three. Yes. So yes. these lines will be execute, executed. Five mm -hmm. comma three. Now these lines also won't be executed. Here we will come here. Five minus three, which is two. Two. two greater than three? No. no. So it will become calculate of three comma two. Uh. Three comma two. So these lines will be executed again. Difference equal to three minus, minus two. two. One. One. Yeah. Uh, one greater than two? No. No. So it will return two one. comma one. one. If uh, so, two comma one. So these lines also won't be executed. Our difference will be two minus one. Minus one. So one. Uh -huh. 2 minus 1 is 1, right? Yes, ma'am. So, 1. 1, comma 1. Our output will be if different. 1, comma 1, no? Yes, ma'am. Next, this. 2 minus 1 is 1. Is 1 less than, if is 1 greater than 1? No. No. It, it will return equal calculate. To one. Yeah. It will return this. 1, Value comma B. 1. If A equal to B, yeah, this condition will be executed and the return value will be 1. Do you understood this? Yes, ma'am. I understood. Yeah. Ma'am, I want to ask something. We haven't got our hall tickets yet. Yeah, no. the previously he told, no, he got hall ticket just now. Subramanya Mohan told. Yes, right? Yeah, yeah, it is just now only. Ma'am, ma'am, from we. Ma now is it available? Yeah, it's available. You got it in your email. Okay. And from week, week eight, so with instructor session, pseudo code four, I didn't understood. Okay, I will. Yeah, please. But no one has took this all with instructor session, no week eight. Yeah, no one has taken. But that is for reference, right? I think so. Uh, that is just for, I think that is like previous terms challenge. Yeah, session. yeah. No, not challenge session, I think. It is for a uh, graded assignment yes. practice session. Yeah. Fourth one, ma'am. Uh. Yeah. Wait. Is this the question? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. What's here? Like, where is your Ma'am, ma can you zoom a little bit? Yes, ma'am. It's perfect. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, one thing that I didn't understood that uh, there is three if condition, right? Yeah. 
and i didn't understood that it is for uh, which for each because there is three for each loop is uh, going on see uh, uh, like you understood next iterations no yeah uh, yeah so so you will ch- like let's say i j h yeah i i will start from zero j also will start from zero and if say this rows of okay, m and columns okay we can we can take the same same element right for i j h yeah you see rows of m like if m starts from zero if m m starts yeah. there are n elements like the indexing of m starts from 0 to n minus 1, n minus 1 right. so so i will iterate from 0 to n minus 1 and right. you also will iterate from 0 to n minus 1 and you right. also will iterate 0 to n minus 1 so right. initially Uh, yeah. so i will be zero j will be zero and h also h will, will be, be ze- zero zero right. and right. second iteration i will yeah. be zero j will be zero and h will be one okay yeah in the third iteration i will be zero j will be zero and h will be three so it will finish okay. so on to n minus one okay ma'am but how will uh, i un- uh, how will i understand that it will be incremented by one every time for each we are using no for each h see in list also yeah so first we will complete the for each h then after we will complete, we'll complete for each j, j. Okay. and then okay. yeah so and like so like after like after finishing every h for 0 yeah. 0 and j yeah. like if you have iterated 0 to n minus 1 of h then right. in the sec- in the next iteration i will be c i will be 0 only yeah. and j will be 1 and h will be zero and for every this for yeah. every j of 1 h will be executed 0 to n minus 1 times so you understood the complexity of this yeah so, i understood the uh, that thing but still i am not able to get thing that how it is uh, using as a procedure we move duplicate because it is deleting something right remove du- duplicate Yeah. Yeah. It should then it should remove duplicate elements and uh, it should uh, give only the actual uh, elements. No. Ma'am, if you can take some example and explain a little bit more, that will be. Okay. Consider the actual entry, actual uh, matrix, matrix constructed in the previous slide. Assume that there is there exists a procedure remove duplicate which receives a list as input and removes all the duplicate elements in the list. When will the find good set? m of m will return true what is m actually uh m is a matrix of oh. it's not given i think okay previous slide it's given Okay, M is a matrix which stores the list of uh, shops commonly visited by both customers I and J. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. List of the shops which. So, here. This okay, ma'am. Uh, can you clear one thing? Like, if uh, I have in last in last one, if I have a list like A A comma B comma A comma B, then I will consider only A comma B, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That is through a remote duplicate procedure yeah. is doing. So, would you like to try yourself this question, Mans? Yeah, I will. I will like to try myself, but the time is also limited. Uh, and then after, I don't think there is any session before quiz three. No, we have like we have four to like tomorrow we have revision session live session for four to six week but definitely you can ask this question also like i think okay. if time permits okay if time permits yeah yeah um, okay ma'am i will try i will try yep yeah. okay. but but the major majorly like this is like this is not that important but you mainly concentrate on our practice and grade assignment questions yeah. okay yeah yeah But yeah. still, I I seen that, so I thought that I, I should ah, okay. do what it is. Yeah, right. but yeah. you I understood. But yeah. I think, but you don't have much time, no. But practice yeah. those yeah. questions more. Yeah. Okay. Right, 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 right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. Tomorrow, Definitely, we'll answer. 
tomorrow we have practice session between 4 to 6 no no not practice session like we have re revision session for 4 to 6 week contents okay ma'am so can we ask some question related to for week uh, 4 to week 6 yes in, in that session yes definitely yeah. Oh, okay. Or you will summarize the content of four to six. I mean, the pattern the of the session, session will be how? But, uh, how how you want? Like you want some revision? So, like basically, first few slides for first uh, half an hour something we can talk revision. Yeah. Later you can we summarize can... the content, right? Uh, and then after you... we can you See, can take questions, right? I think like by this time the people might be like knowing of the contents which I'm talking yeah, about. Right. Yeah. But definitely but you should like you should ask questions that like whatever doubts you should have you have then you should ask questions like i think this session like subramanya mohan has interacted i think he understood little bit like what where yeah. he's mis making mistakes similarly yeah. if you have some queries you can ask and you can clarify your doubts it will make more like you will understand more okay yeah. if you do right. that right, right 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 you will understand like where you are making mistakes if you are just listening, then you won't understand. Like, yeah, okay. Okay. So we can ask some doubts in that session also, right? Definitely. Like, yeah. Definitely. some conceptual doubts or anything you can ask or any any practice or graded or, or any question related doubt, right? Yeah. yeah. Any conceptual or anything it will be fine. Revision session only, no? It's like yeah. kind of yeah. open. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that okay. tomorrow's revision is only for batch one, is it? Not for everybody. <laughs> I don't know for whom it is. It is, it is, it is, is yeah, ma'am, it's, it's for batch one only. Because okay. it is for quiz three. Yeah, quiz two and quiz. Quiz people, okay. Yeah. But we were not able to enter in the practice solution now what uh, you, have, you have just shown now. It is the uh, access denied for us. Okay. Yeah, I think it will all be resolved after the qualifier exam. Yep, you people quickly qualify, then you will get all the contents, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay? Right, yeah. <laughs> it's a good motivation. <laughs> Big yeah. point, don't to cross. Meanwhile, we are losing a bit of time for practice uh, and uh, get the confidence also, ma'am. Because by the time, actually, all 12 uh, uh, weeks will be completed. <clears throat> we will be getting the access, I think. Mm, yeah, one week loss is the 17th only they are going to declare the result. And three weeks you have for practice and five to twelve weeks completely it will be completed, sir. We need to review and review again and again uh, uh, for the same things whether we are correct or not. Till then we will not be uh, supported with the uh, see in mathematics actually if something is there we can check with the other uh, sources also. But when it comes to this particular program and uh, this particular uh, uh, episode of CT, mm -hmm. uh, it it is very difficult. There is no other information available, uh, and uh, the only IIT is the only source for us. So it is. Uh, it is giving me a great uh, uh, glitch in uh, understanding the concepts yeah, and uh, following that. Yeah, yeah, that's very well. Very Other subjects we can catch up, not with CT. Yeah, but you will find CT only easy. Like if you understand everything, you will find CT easy compared to other yeah, subjects. Yeah, that's a big qualifier. Yeah, yeah, it is very time saving in, uh, saving in the quiz as well. Yeah. Um, and also it is carrying maximum marks. Sir. So that is concerned to yeah. Yeah. I have a doubt, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, ma'am, in grade, uh, ma'am, in assignment uh, nine, practice assignment, ma'am, practice assignment nine. Okay. See, if this doubt has already answered, then I'm not going to answer this. Okay. Yeah. Tell. Tell which, what is your doubt? In, in palindrome uh, question. Yeah, tell. Uh, ma'am, what is significance of... Ma'am, wait. Ma what is significance of length L uh, greater than equal to 1? Less than or equal ma to... Ma'am, why, ma why are we... Uh, ma smaller than equal to, sorry. Smaller than equal to. Ma'am, why are we putting smaller than? Why don't we... Yeah, like others, like anyone want to volunteer and want to answer this question as because we have already discussed this question. Would anyone like to answer this, his query, why we are taking length of L less than or equal to 1? Yeah, because one letter is also 
a palindrome one is so if, if we is, have a li- okay we are telling a word is a palindrome uh, ma'am uh, Remember one thing I know that uh, last element that we will have uh, will be either uh, it will be either one or uh, it could be uh, it will be one. I think. It will be one uh, or it could not have any element. It is empty. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. It could be both both of things. Yeah. Uh, okay, ma'am. Okay, got it. Ma'am. Ma'am, it will be uh, smaller. It could be smaller than one two. That's why they are putting. Uh, smaller than equal to is it if correct the, if there are no elements in the list then the length of l will be zero zero yeah ma'am yeah then is That's it correct right. yes okay okay that is for terminating the iteration is it right yeah that is for terminating the iteration yes that is the base case okay yeah thanks all for joining the session i already thank you ma'am thank you very much very helpful thank you ma'am mm-hmm. beautiful session thank you so much thank you ma'am thanks all for joining the session okay we'll see you in the next session is tomorrow right yeah tomorrow uh, but calendar is not uh, updated yet yeah they are not updating the calendar but the session is tomorrow okay revision session for we can tell the six. time time also timing of the time. session they will update tomorrow at uh, yeah actually i also like i also don't know the timing but it's tomorrow okay but tomorrow by tomorrow it will be updated i will tell the team to update okay okay thank you yeah okay bye bye